YouTube. This video is about three quick subjects. First, I've got some vampire Viking driving footage. Secondly, I've got a story about the stupidest kid in town. And you want to be that kid, by the way. And then the third thing, if you're using more than two fingers, you're doing it wrong. Get your head out of the gutter and pay attention. Let's get after it. If you like the videos, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. None of us are getting out of here alive. I don't know what you're waiting on. Red Viking Trucker is out. All right, YouTube. I'm going to go find this trailer. I'm in South Carolina picking a load up. I'm going to drop this empty and then snag the loaded trailer and head to our Atlanta yard. These guys are stacked with empty trailers tonight. There's my girl. everything. See, it's going to be a bit snug getting out of here, but it is too cool. I've got plenty of space away from the other trailers. But this is not made for a sleeper cab back here. slide my tandems, seal this thing, and then get the gate guard to sign me out. Alright, let's rock and roll. Alright YouTube, let's go find my trailer here at the Lowe's Distribution Center up in Statesville. I'm going to drop my empty and then go find my loaded one. I'm driving this load up to Tennessee tonight and then back to our yard in Charlotte. Charlotte, North Carolina. Drop lane 763 should be right here. Boom. Things that make you go boom. Drop the landing gear. Let's go find my pickup lane. One zero five five. All right, one zero five five should be right along here. Peeping with the flashlight. There we go. There's my trailer. Let me get under this girl now. 
to get the gear up. Let me do my loaded call. I'm gonna go scale this animal. Should be okay on weight, but I'm gonna scale it anyway. Let's go scale this animal and be on our way. It's only 36,000 pounds is what the bills show, but I scale them anyway just to make sure, especially since I can scale it right here and save the time and it's also free. There's no reason not to. I've been caught more than once running a load that the bills of lading said were lighter than what it actually was. One time it was off by almost uh, 20,000 pounds. So I, I try to scale everything. Unless I can physically see inside of the trailer before they seal it, close the doors and seal it, and know that it's not loaded heavy, I scale everything. I'm heading up to Sevierville, Tennessee, to the lows up there to drop this. It'll be about a 460 mile, 480 mile night. I'll take that. off now. It's 25, 60 for the tandems. So we're good. The weight is correct on the bills of lading. Let me get through the gate now. about a just under four hour one way ride so it'll be about a 10 hour day pending any traffic jams another good day of running another good night of running all right youtube i am back in statesville with the same load i left with because when you get to a lowe's at two o'clock in the morning if they don't have a load lock, or I should say a kingpin lock, and you got to bring the trailer back. And they had a kingpin lock, but no key. And nobody was home at 2 o'clock in the morning. So I am bringing this one back and putting it in a hole, and somebody else is going to deliver it later on today. That was a 10 hour round trip for nothing. Nothing, honey. Let me drop the landing gear. Here we go. Got the fog clear, cleared up. Well, a little bit cleared up. The sun's starting to uh, break in. No, I also enjoy driving into towns on Saturday and Sunday mornings because there's not a lot of traffic. Now I'm coming into Hickory and then into Statesville. But you get in some of these cities and there's not a lot of traffic, especially on Sunday morning until 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be a nice, a nice ride into some of these cities as well. Last night I was speaking to one of my subscribers, David. David, thanks for the phone call, brother. And he was asking me how I deal with not getting paid for some of the things we do out here. Like you're sitting at docks, and I'm not doing that anymore, but I did the first year. Sitting at docks, you know, not getting paid 
all of the miles, getting paid zip code to zip code, so you're moving the truck for free, moving trailers for free, just things like that. And I told him, I said, David, I said, let me tell you a quick story, because I heard this story way, way back. There was a barber cutting the old man's hair. And while he was cutting the old man's hair, a young kid about nine years old walked in the front door, and the barber told the old man, he said, watch this. He said, this is the dumbest kid in town. Watch, watch this. And the kid walks in the front door, and the barber says, hey, Timmy, come over here. And Timmy walks over. And the barber pulls out two quarters and pulls out a dollar bill. And he holds them out. He said, Timmy, you can have either one. Which, which one do you want? And Timmy grabbed the two quarters. He said, I want these. And the barber said, okay. He said, it's all yours then. And Timmy took those two quarters, and Timmy walked out. And the barber looked at the old man and said, can you believe that? I offered that kid a dollar and I offered that kid 50 cents. And he should know better because he's old enough and he took the 50 cents rather than the dollar. And he comes in here at least two or three times a month and he still, after all this time, only takes the quarters. And the old man was sitting there and he goes, that is kind of odd. He gets done getting his hair cut. The old man's walking out the front door and he sees Timmy just down the street come out of the ice cream parlor with an ice cream licking on it. And the old man walks up to him and says, hey, son, he says, let me ask you. He said, when he offers you the 50 cents, the two quarters, or the dollar bill, you, he says you always take the two quarters. And Timmy said, yeah, he said, why is that surprising? He said, if I took the dollar bill, the game would be over. And he said, Sometimes you got to be as smart as a fox. And you got to say get through the first year, get your experience. You're not going to get everything you want in the first year. There's going to be some things you don't like. But as every year goes by, you have more and more opportunities. And if you exercise the lease option, owner operator option, driving under your authority, your own authority option, right? You know you're you're going to work it out in the long run to benefit you. You got to get through that first year. So just because you have to play the game a little bit, don't feel like that makes you any less capable of learning this business and maximizing your future in the business. Now, what I mean by if you're using more than two fingers, you're doing it wrong. Whether the landing gear is up or down, I always pull it out to the highest position, the highest gear and even going up or coming down even when the trailer has weight on it you should be able to turn this handle with two fingers if you're using more than two fingers you're doing it wrong you got to make this job as simple and as stress-free as you can boom goes the dynamite it'll be a nice ride to the yard pretty morning And the green is popping this morning. <laughs>